you've been interested in space uh, for a long time as well, as well as, uh, as flight and uh, aircraft startups. Um, where are we today in terms of you know, the space program and entrepreneurs sort of taking over where the right. government is leaving off? So the, the shuttle is going to definitely fly for the last time. The only question is precisely when, whether it's July 8th or it gets delayed by weather. So when that happens, it'll be the end of the beginning. And the beginning was the US space program with, with all its glory and achievements and also its challenges. And the next thing that happens is in the US, the private sector takes over. There's an un unfortunate gap between the end of the, the government this part of the government program and the private sector coming in into the breach, and that's Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. uh, John Carmack, XCOR. Uh, right, you have this whole yeah. list of uh, very credible entrepreneurs, billionaires, who are right. putting their own money into, you know, creating uh, spacecraft launch vehicles, yeah. right? And uh, and what I find really interesting about this whole group is that we've seen attempts before. Like a decade ago, there was a whole group of smaller startups uh, that were going after the you know low Earth orbit uh, market that never really materialized. Um, and they had interesting vehicles, like rotary rocket had this yeah. like, rotary blade, and ones that landed on uh, you know in big balloons. Uh, I remember uh, covering a lot of those back in my days at Fortune. Um, but none of them, you know. I think a lot of people who've been look, looking at the space entrepreneurship, uh, you know, uh, at, at the potential there, have been disappointed. Why is this time different? Well, this time it's different because these guys are credible, and they started out with billions, not with a few hundred million. I I wasn't actually following them quite mm -hmm. that carefully before, but now it's yeah. I I can't really explain what happened before. There, there wasn't the market, there wasn't the billionaires, there wasn't the opening uh, until recently the space shuttle and the Russian program were, were quite sufficient. Now there's there's a real gap. NASA has decided, I think very intelligently, they want to, why should they be doing trucking in space? They should hire, outsource to people who can do it cheaper, who have another business. The whole point of this is if you fly people only every five months, every year, every two years, you get out of practice and you have to amortize the costs of a huge program over very, very few flights. Right. So, so right now you have, uh, you've got like Elon Musk's uh, company that, that SpaceX. is SpaceX, which is uh, really just a brute force rocket, right? That uh, they figured out how to, how to build it and, and make sure that it, that it flies reliably. Um, at what point do we move from that to a manned vehicle? Okay, I was, I was going to say, you know, I'm, there's nothing wrong with brute force, and mm -hmm. we don't have teleportation yet. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a respectable, real rocket that gets things up, mm -hmm. and, and people, too. It's going to be human-rated by NASA in a couple of years, and everybody's going to be very careful. NASA doesn't want to be careless, and believe me, SpaceX doesn't. But what's good now is you, you have competition. You have different approaches. There's there are other people in the market. And the problem with the market before was it was very secretive. The, the best thing for competition and for productive differentiation is, in fact, transparent competition. And that's one thing that's changed. Suddenly, people are getting much more visible. NASA is actually mm -hmm. contracting out. So the, the money that NASA is putting in matters. The money the billionaires have matters. The market itself matters. You've now had seven space tourists actually go up to space station. Right. You've got other countries in the mix. It's, and there's, privatization really unleashes commercial energy, and that's what this is mm -hmm. about. And you, you want to be a space tourist as well. Yeah, right? I'd love to be. Why? Uh, you, I want to be up there and, and look out. I want to experience it. I want to see the Earth from far away, and I want to help this thing happen because I think 20 or 50 or 100 years from now, we'll be very glad that we moved beyond Earth to Mars and asteroids and, and wherever. Uh, we need to get on the ball and start looking for asteroids and deflect them if they're out there. Uh, yeah, the chances are much smaller, but the, 
the disaster would be much larger than a lot of other issues we care a lot about. And are you inve you're investing? You're not investing in any space startups, are you? Or? I'm, I'm in XCore. I'm in NanoRacks, okay. and I'm in Space Adventures. 